Biologists suspect we are living through the sixth major mass extinction. Earth has witnessed five, when more than 75% of species disappeared. Paleontologists spot them when species go missing from the global fossil record. We don't always know what caused them but most had something to do with rapid climate change. The third largest extinction in Earth's history. The Eurydivision Silurian mass extinction had a two peak dying time separated by hundreds of thousands of years because of a glaciation followed by a rebound of a greenhouse climate. During the Eurydivision, most life was in the sea, and 85% of all living organisms were lost. It hit a lot of groups such as trilobites, brachiopods, and echinoderms. The late Devonian mass extinction may have been a series of extinctions over several million years, rather than a single event. Life in the shallow seas were the worst affected, and reefs took a hammering, not returning to their former glory until new types of coral evolved over 100 million years later. In fact, much of the seabed became devoid of oxygen, rendering it effectively out of bounds for anything except bacteria. Changes in sea level and asteroid impacts have all been blamed for these extinctions. The Permian mass extinction has been nicknamed the Great Dying, since a staggering 96% of species died out. All life on Earth today is descended from the 4% of species that survived. The event turns out to have been complex, as there were at least two separate phases of extinction spread over millions of years. Marine creatures were particularly badly affected and insects suffered the only mass extinction of their history. Many causes have been proposed for the event, asteroid impact, catastrophic methane release, a drop in oxygen levels, sea level fluctuations or some combination of these. During the final 18 million years of the Triassic period, there were two or three phases of extinction whose combined effects created the Triassic mass extinction event where 76% of all life was lost. Climate change and an asteroid impact have all been blamed for this loss of life. Many types of animal died out. Roughly. Half of all the species alive at the time became extinct. Strangely, plants were not so badly affected. The Cretaceous is famed for the death of the dinosaurs. 70% of all life was lost. However, many other organisms perished at the end of the Cretaceous including the ammonites, many flowering plants and the last of the pterosaurs. Some groups had been in decline for several million years before the final event that destroyed them all. It's suggested that the decline was due to the world's climate, combined with drastic falls in sea level. Then a huge asteroid or comet struck the seabed in Mexico, 